thought I'd give you a little outdoor aquaponic tour here. And uh, it's just my outdoor system. This is the tote that was I was testing last year down in my basement. And uh, see there, it's just now kicking in. Anyway, watch, watch the head pressure build up. I'm just trying to, I'll show it here in a minute once it really gets kicked in good. But anyway, there's all my little lettuces and well, there it goes. That's when it kicks in real good. That's basically how that works. Anyway, more head pressure and more come, goes out and going in. There's a little pipe that's going in there. Anyway, this is a blackish, blackish cherry tomato. Uh, some Kamados that I'm going to try. I don't know if they're going to do well or whatever, but I thought I'd try them. They taste really good. Uh, little rounds. Uh, that's another little blackish cherry. Now, these are... Uh, clippings that I took off that are rerooted and they're taking off. They're trying to start blooming even. Uh, there's some beans I got coming up here and kind of made like a little trellis. I'm going to tie up and I'm going to let my tomatoes grow up and I'll kind of keep the branches kind of coming off and I may pull off some of the lower suckers. Let them kind of come up and then fill in here. That way they'll overflow out of the top and then over the top here and let them overflow there and Maybe I can kind of keep them even up top a lot, and the tomatoes will kind of hang down from there. I'll pick off of those. And this whole thing, I imagine, will start to flow over and overflow, and uh, that'll be okay. But you see uh, some little radishes I planted here for my mom. There's a type of bell pepper. I got some other little bell peppers in here. Some that are going to get big and some that aren't going to be so big. And there's my fan that I kick on and it oscillates to help keep things cool in here. Right now I can shut the doors, but I would imagine when I get up above 90 degrees I'll have to be opening the doors. That's a spaghetti squash. I just plant the seed in here and I'll just let it go. All this other lettuce is black seeded Simpson and salad bowl. That is a Cherokee purple tomato that I got going there. And something real characteristic about the Cherokee purple, as they start to get more and more mature, they'll start to get these really neat little crooks. They'll start to crook around and you get all these little crooks in there. Ooh, there's a little tiny aphid. How about a little guy? And it's starting to try to bloom a little bit too. Some little peppers there. Peppers, if you notice, I just really overflow this thing. That way, I mean, it does really good that way. It just fills in and just overflows. So I'm really going to try to test that out. There is a stick tomato, also known as a curl, that I got started in my indoor system. And I brought out here because it's getting shaded out and the root system wasn't doing too well. So maybe we'll do better out here testing it and seeing how it does. Uh, and even how it tastes. I didn't actually get any last year. I can see some bubbles. I do have a couple air stones going in there, and I just have three fish in there right now. There's some cherry purples that got started. I'm going to pass those on to some different people. But yeah, just three fish and running this whole system. Now, some of this is aged. You know, I still use the rock that was left over. Full of worms. And the old roots that were in there, they broke those down and everything. A lot of this growth and anything that's coming in here, these these worms are really breaking it down too. I don't know if I can dig in here and even see one. But usually they try to get a little deeper. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay. But anyway. So. That's what I got going on out here. So how many different types? I got one, two, three. Oh, there's some hybrid 100s in here too. There's one. Super sweet hybrid 100. It's in here. I had some old seed and I threw in here and some of it started to come up. See how different the leaf structure looks on that than that. 
that's what that is. So one, two, three, four, five. I got five different types of tomatoes in here that I'm testing and trying. One thing that I got going down that I started down in my basement is a uh, uh, Italian tree tomato. And I'm going to take that outdoors and I'm going to put that on my wall and let it kind of overflow all over my top of my wall, which is about a 10 foot drop. They said it can get about 15 foot. I'll just kind of let it cascade down over there and kind of pick up some of the vines and kind of keep doing that. Maybe, maybe it might be an easy way to kind of trellis it and keep it going. So, yep, yeah, this is my outdoor system. This one's been going for, I don't know, about a month and a half now. Uh, with cold weather, hot weather, everything. And as you can see, it's still doing really well. So, uh, that's my little Coke bottle. I'll take this and dip out some water here and I'll water my tomatoes over here and I just refill this thing up with rainwater down in there and that's how I keep my system going I'll feed my fish a little bit add a little bit of iron peels to it and that's about it unless I, I can tell that they're actually lacking some serious nutrients or some macro or micronutrients that I'm not really getting a lot in there from their feed maybe you know I don't have enough fish in there or something and these things are really going out of control I may add even when my tomatoes start blooming a little more I may add a, just a touch just not much like three or four tablespoons which you know it's supposed to be like one tablespoon per gallon this is like 250 gallons or so or 200 gallons at least but 426 26 flower and bloom seed grow doesn't hurt the fish works really good it's organic um, anyway the plants seem to really love it it really takes off so anyway it's my little outdoor system that I got going this little greenhouse you can get pick these up at Lowe's right now they're about $170 I got mine for 70 uh, talked to the manager is an open box type deal brand new but just happened to work out a deal but there it is I've had this up for two years it's blown over, blown into the woods, everything has been pretty good. It does have a few cracks and stuff, but you know, I've really, <laughs> you gotta really get these, right now it's, uh, as you can see, it's strapped tied down to the actual system itself, so all that water weight is holding it down and anchoring it down, plus I have uh, stakes in it. The stakes are not enough by themselves to hold this tent down. This thing will pick up and take off. So, anyway, we've got rain coming in, as you can hear, and see that wind kind of passing through the windows here so anyway if you'd like to see this or holler at me some more I'd love to show you sometime or maybe even help you set up one at home so all right this is my garden for this year and uh, we'll see how well it does outdoors in this little greenhouse and see how long it goes up into the winter as well without any additional heat all right bye